Hey, so this is Jesse. I am the video guy for AFT. Now, you've seen me on camera before. However, this video is completely by chance. I'm here with Randy from Fox Blocks. He's in town, wanted to see the project. He's in charge of the Western US. I'm gonna turn the camera around as we're here at Brad's house, we're at Liberty Estate. And I'm not even dressed for the occasion, <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in and do a quick video. And Randy's gonna talk all about Fox Blocks, the parent company, where it all started, give you a little bit of rich history. You're not probably gonna see me again, maybe at the end, but here we are. I wanted to intro. Here's Randy, and you're in for a treat. <laughs> well, hey, Randy with Fox Box, and we're so proud to be on this job site with, with AFT Construction and Brad Levitt's good team here doing another beautiful custom home. And part of the rich history of insulated concrete forms, um, the Airlight Company, of which uh, is the parent of Fox Box. You, you may not realize this, but um, Airlight stems from fishing bobbers, little red and white plastic fishing bobbers. So that's uh, that was in the 40s. And Grandpa Crosby, we, we lovingly and affectionately term, is uh, the founder of Airlight, and the company moved into uh, other sporting goods and also uh, automotive, agricultural. And then in the 60s, the sun took it over and uh, food packaging across the country. So instead of wax cardboard, uh, the polypropylene plastic food packaging. So if you go into the grocery store, a lot of, a lot of times, 50-50 chance, anything you pick up, it'll have a little airplane logo on it. That is the same company that makes your Fox blocks. So Airlight has a couple different divisions and one of them is the sustainable construction products division of which Fox Blocks is uh, uh, one of the great products. The other one's True Grid, a uh, pervious paving product that is also exceptional. So, so within that uh, rich history today, gran uh, the grandson, Brad Crosby, is the uh, chief and we are uh, just awful proud of the growth. Uh, these days, Fox Blocks in the ICF industry, number one or number two in, in every major market in North America. So we're, we're really proud. And the engineering behind it is the same engineering that went, goes into medical parts, food grade packaging parts, automotive parts. And uh, that engineering know-how with polypropylene plastic uh, was really delivered into the Fox Blocks product with input from uh, contractors, subcontractors, ICF contractors across the country. And uh, we're really proud of the engineering on it. And I'd like to show you some of that with a block in hand right now. So we got a couple of uh, engineering uh, marvels, I call them, because I'm so proud of our product. But one of the two things, I, I come from a ready mix background, concrete contractor. And when we're pouring concrete, we want an open cavity as much as possible. We want concrete flowability. We want the ease of consolidation. We also want to be able to easily uh, stack the horizontal bar. And so this formwork was designed with a really low profile cross tie. And the cross tie being low profile allows for exceptional concrete dispersion and, and placement, faster pour rates. And the other thing we did is uh, we, we engineered these cross ties, which are similar to snap ties and plywood forms. So all concrete forming systems, this is the strength that holds the head pressure of the concrete. And these are uniform. So on a regular spacing, eight inches vertically, and then eight inches horizontally, you have a cross tie. And the job of the cross tie, of course, is to hold the head pressure of the concrete. And so when you have uniform spacing, of these cross ties, you get higher head pressure uh, holding power and um, you get flatter wall surfaces, even if the, even if the product is stressed. So, so that's a real positive thing for the engineering behind this as ready mix cast in place concrete formwork, which we have to do. If we can't do that, we need to go home. So the other aspect of the product that's kind of cool is there's, you know, there's no top or bottom or left or right. And this is 
part and parcel of uh, waste reduction in our industry. You can rip cut, flip it over, and still use that part. The other cool thing about um, the engineering on Fox blocks is this interlock pattern. So uh, part of the uh, feedback we got when we were in design from contractors across the country was uh, interlock that had little tiny pieces and parts that were easily subject to breakage and it would make the next course and the course after that tougher to put down. So with Fox blocks, it's a big two inch male to two inch female, but it runs horizontally so that when you grab it and treat it roughly, you know, when you, when you really get on, it, it doesn't matter. This is uh, the original name on Fox blocks was your industrial strength ICF and that has to do with the interlock pattern. So concrete placement, and putting these together, reversible, the interlock, heavy duty, industrial strength, open cavity, smooth face form for ease of consolidation has all led to uh, tremendous growth in this industry and, and uh, more mainstream projects uh, coming on board because of our ability to hold and place concrete in a, in a very efficient manner. Moving on to the corner blocks, the number one thing that uh, contractors across the country ask for is a stronger corner. Because in our industry, you know, since the 60s, uh, the corner blocks, we have two planes of concrete head pressure diving into this area. Massive, uh, 145 pounds a cubic foot multiplied twice, two different directions coming into the corner. Uh, we needed to strap, kick off, brace, uh, all kinds of exterior uh, requirements to you know hold the corner solid with uh, an ICF formwork. Fox Blocks uh, discovered with the engineering department that the longer the return is that you have into the wall, the better the concrete head pressure holding power. So they oversized this uh, return. What's interesting is in many aspects, uh, the short return of the Fox Blocks actually equals the long return in in many other brands. The other thing that that was accomplished with, uh, with Fox Blocks is there's a corner bracket that's molded in. So this corner bracket is a direct holding power for concrete head pressure. It fans out to an engineered truss and then on each face you'll see this H outline. That is a solid chunk of polypropylene plastic on, on each face of the corner that allows for a post concrete attachment but it just delivers tremendous concrete pressure holding power and uh, we can get away without the need for strapping bracing on the corners and that is uh, a big benefit so the corner blocks are just left and right you can do this but probably not effective for running bond what we really want to see is of course this and that's that is the foundation of every ICF project. All ICF projects start at the corner. The straight blocks will run away from the corner, so the corner blocks get set and the straight blocks run towards the center. And what you really want in your ICF project is a corner block that's engineered with the latest, greatest concrete head pressure holding power. So one of the cool things about this project for, for AFT construction is, is they're going floor by floor construction like we see on many, many commercial projects and uh, public works and, and schools. So cast in place concrete walls, that's all an ICF is. It's solid concrete walls, steel reinforced, and the, the load bearing capacity is, is tremendous, way more than what you can do with, with stick frame construction or, or others. So, You'll see up, uh, up above, uh, these walls have been formed. Rebar has been set in them. The concrete has been boom pumped in. Now we've got solid concrete walls. And along with those solid concrete walls, the pre-planning and engineering of this project, we also have steel plate embeds that have Nelson studs that are cast into the concrete wall. You've also got pockets and you can see beam pockets and you can see the concrete that's inside of those beam pockets. Those will allow for beams to be set in and load bearing across there. The steel weld plates will be for steel joist connection and that'll be the floor load that gets set in and then uh, the floor will be put in and you can go straight on up with subsequent coursing. So wherever you see the rebar sticking wild out of the ICF walls, just know 
that more ICF form work will, will stack on and uh, the second story level will get poured and then the, the lid will get put on. So typical and commercial and multi-story, it's floor by floor construction. In other words, the first story walls will get formed up and poured. A floor will get set in with various connection methods and then the second story walls will get formed and poured and so on. Uh, today, some of the tallest ICF structures are 30 plus stories. We just got a rich history of where Fox Blocks comes from, where, um, where it's going, where it's at right now. Um, as this house gets taller, and I'll sh obviously we're gonna show you the second level and above and all of that. So fo keep following along. We really appreciate you stopping by today. I'm thoroughly excited that I was here uh, to hang out with Randy and Levi's over there, but you don't see him. He's, he's over there. He doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> um, but thanks to Fox Fox for stopping by. Randy, it was a pleasure hanging out with you. And I hope I get to do it again Yeah. Uh, because uh, I never even knew where it all started. So you guys have a good day and we'll see you on the next one.